Now, before we get to big game, not a big game, let me tell you about Doctors on Call 365. It's the weekend. Everybody's excited. You're going to have a great time. you got great plans. But if you have to cancel your plans because you're not feeling well, well, we got to get you back up on your feet. And the easiest and most convenient way, take it from me, Doctors on Call 365, all right? Hey, if you if you want to support Zaslow Show 2.0, you got to support our great sponsors. And this one, Doctors on Call 365, they're trying to help you feel better. If you're sick, you call your doctor. They tell you, all right, we got an opening in two weeks. No, no, no. I need someone right now. Well, Doctors on Call 365 is South Florida's urgent care that comes to you, treating children, adults, and the elderly with minor illnesses or minor injuries. You need a strep test, COVID test, flu test. I've used them for two of those three right there. I needed a COVID test. My son needed a strep test. If you need blood drawn, you need IV fluids, you need a prescription filled or refilled, Doctors on Call 365 will get you back on your feet. I had a 103 fever. Dr. Alon, he came over to my house immediately, treated me. I got a prescription. I was back on my feet before I knew it. Now, Doctors on Call 365, they serve Broward County, Miami-Dade, Southern Palm Beach as well. Self-pay, but you go to the emergency room or the local urgent care, you're going to wait for hours, and then your copay is likely going to be more than you're going to pay out of pocket for Doctors on Call 365 to come to your home, your office, wherever you're at, getting that convenience to be treated right there where you're comfortable. Doctors on Call 365.com. You can also call 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You will get someone on the phone immediately. 786-577-9302. That's 786-577-9302. You know what time it is. It's the weekend. And you're saying to yourself, Zaslow, I gotta know. Is it a big game? Or is it not a big game? That's right. Big game or not a big game. You know what we're talking about here. Let's start things off tonight Friday night 7 p.m. ESPN NHL skills competition taking place live at Sunrise's FLA Live Arena how about them doing the whole media day yesterday all of it on the beach there very very cool (coughs) so the Panthers they're being featured ESPN Daily a couple days ago my guy Pablo Torre They were talking, he was talking with Emily Kaplan, who does reporting for ESPN NHL, and they're going over, I like how the Panthers are being featured here, and they're telling the story, 1995, 1996 season, Scott Mellenby, the rat trick, how rats are involved with the Panthers, they're rehashing that whole story. I loved hearing that, really cool stuff. But tonight, NHL skills competition, ESPN, I'm going big game. I like the NHL skills competition. I think it's fun. They got to hit the bullseyes. They're skating real fast. I dig the NHL. I wish I... Now, I'm not trying to go because it's a super expensive ticket. I don't expect to be gifted tickets. But I wish I was going. It is really expensive. I don't know. Maybe last minute we check the prices. Maybe prices drop and we get on in the building. I don't know. We'll see. But NHL skills competition, I'm going big deal. Big deal or not a big deal. Tonight, 8 p.m., Fox, WWE SmackDown. Look, this is the first SmackDown since Royal Rumble. The Bloodline, my tribal chief, Roman Reigns, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. What's he going to say tonight? Are the Bloodline going to open the show? I mean, they kicked Sami Zayn out because Sami smacked Roman in the back with the chair. Roman then told Solo, we're at war. Jey Uso seemingly quit the Bloodline. I think he wants to fight Roman Reigns. Tonight's WWE SmackDown and Fox is going to draw a monster number. This is a very big show. WWE SmackDown on Fox, that's a big game. Oh, I can't wait. All right, big game or not a big game. Saturday, 3 p.m., ABC. The NHL All-Star Game. Now, I got to be honest here. I don't know what the hell is going on with the All-Star Game. They got one division plays another division at 3 p.m. Then one division plays another division at 4 p.m. And then at 5 p.m., it's the championship. Now, the NHL All-Star Game is... uh, The worst All-Star Game is the Pro Bowl, and that's why they got rid of it. But the NHL All-Star Game is really bad also. It's, 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 It's just up and down. There's no hitting. There's no checking. It's so many goals because it's not real hockey. This is not a big game. I'm not a fan. Like, the All-Star Weekend here in Sunrise, 
If I had the choice to go either to the All-Star game or the skills competition tonight, i go the skills. I would go tonight. Not a big game. Big game or not a big game. Saturday, also 3 p.m., ACC Network. The Miami Hurricanes men's basketball team. Jim Laranago, them boys. Break number 23. I'm not, I don't want to spoil a big game, not a big game. They're at number 20, Clemson, who leads the ACC. They only have two losses. The Canes have four losses in the ACC. So if they have any chance of catching Clemson, it's going to be tough, but if they have any chance of catching Clemson, they have to win this game tomorrow. Miami at Clemson, that's a big game. How about that? Give the Canes fan a little bit of love there. And finally, one more. Saturday night, 8 p.m., Bally Sports Sun, your Miami Heat at the Milwaukee Bucks. Now, that's a tough loss last night because you don't want to lose two in a row then going to Milwaukee tomorrow. Giannis is coming off a huge performance. We'll get to that. But the Heat, they can lose to anyone and they can beat anyone. This is a nice little litmus test for where the team is right now. Is Victor Oladipo going to be back in the rotation after missing last night's game? I would hope so, because you're getting nothing out of Lowry. Got to get Oladipo back. Heat at Bucks. that's a big game. Yeah, that's right. There's a lot going on tomorrow night, but that's a big game. And that right there is another edition of Big Game or Not a Big Game. Yes! Wow, there's a lot going on. Look, for a weird week because of the NFL, and we're in that week in between the Super Bowl we got some stuff going on. I, I didn't even include NXT uh, Vengeance. Uh, Vengeance Day, which is tomorrow night. NXT's on the road for a pay-per-view, for a takeover event for the first time in a year, few years, right? So uh, that's, that's kind of a big game, but I, I don't have enough time to include it. All right. Let's do big deal or not a big deal. Yeah, that's right. Let's run it back. Come on now. Big deal or not a big deal. So how about this? You know Bomani Jones has got the new show. It's called Game Theory. It's on HBO. Good for him. We like Bomani Jones. And they released a clip a couple days ago of, I guess, this weekend's episode, which his guest is going to be, and, you know, it's via Zoom, whatever, and his guest is going to be Jake Paul. Well, here is the clip that HBO released. After Tommy Fury, where do you go from there? Like, what happens if you lose one of these fights? Um, I, I don't plan on losing, you know. I, I don't train to lose. Um, maybe that I feel like that's probably like your mindset. You know, a lot of people try to project their mindsets. No, I'm not, I, no I ain't no projected of a mindset. My question is, this is work because we're all surprised that you keep winning these fights, right? But if somebody does beat you, how much interest stays in this when it stops being spread? They won't. They won't. And and I'm gonna be honest, bro. I don't know who the fuck you are. My PR team set, Dude, set up this interview. All I know about you is that people don't wow. like you. Very, first of all, excellent comeback by Bomani Jones. But man, Jake Paul was not having it. I will say, I, I kind of understand Jake Paul not liking the question. It is weird for Bomani or for anyone to ask a fighter, what are you going to do if you lose? Like, what's he supposed to say to that? You know? But Jake Paul got, I, like, Jake Paul got rude. I don't think Bomani was trying to be rude. But Jake Paul got rude. So, uh, I'm, I'm going not a big deal. I'm going not a big deal, but it is going to draw some eyes. Like I want to see the whole, I want to see the whole interview now. So there you go. I'll, I'm going not a big deal because I don't think the interaction was a big deal. But I, I think I'm going to watch that. Big deal or not a big deal? Ah, oh, yesterday, sad day in the pro wrestling world. Lanny Poffo passed away. The genius. That's right, Lanny. With genius, remember he I was Mr. Perfect's boy, leaping Lanny Poffo early in his days. Macho Man Randy Savage's brother. That's right. Lanny Poffo, of course, Randy Savage's real name is Randy Poffo. Lanny Poffo passed away yesterday. He was in his 60s, I believe. That's sad. That's a big deal, okay? Everyone had nice things to say about him. Lanny Poffo, the genius, passed away. Big deal or not a big deal? Last night, after trailing by as many as 21 points at home to the Clippers, Giannis Antetokounmpo, he took over the game. 54 points last night. Somebody scores 50 every night in the NBA now. 54 points for Giannis and a come from behind one point victory. Kawhi Leonard missed a turnaround shot at the buzzer and the Bucks get that win. That's that's not a big deal because like I said, somebody scores 50 every single night in the NBA now. Finally, got one more for you here. Big deal or not a big deal. We know about the, the, the little fracas there in Cleveland, Grizzlies, Cavaliers, Donovan Mitchell, Dylan Brooks. 
Here's Donovan Mitchell after the game. Do you feel the deal that Chip shot at you? Yeah, for sure. Um, that's just who he is. You know, we've seen it a, we've seen it a bunch in this league with him. Um, him and I have had our personal battles for years. Um, quite frankly, I've been busting his ass for years. Uh, playoffs, regular season. Uh, you know, in the one game he does a high job on me today. You know, decided to do something like that. And, you know, there's no place in that in the game. You know, you got to protect yourself at the end of the day. But um, this has been going for years. Um, me with, with me with other guys in the league, and we, you all see it. You know, it's not something that this is this isn't new. Um, you know, it's not just the end of it, but it's tough when you can't guard somebody, you can't do something to somebody. You got to resort to that, and that's what he's done to a lot of players. You know, I, I, off the top of my head, things like Dame and, and, and Steph. He, you know, it's, it's just one of those things that you resort to, and that's cool. But um, I'm glad my guys held it down tonight, and you know, had my back. You know, throughout the whole thing. Yeah, I'm going big deal because. Uh, I like when the teams don't like each other. The Grizzlies are that team now. Like, the Grizzlies have the chip on their shoulder. They think everybody's picking on them. But I'm going big deal because Dylan Brooks is now developing that reputation as a dirty player, a guy who, who crosses, guy who steps over the line. And that's a problem for him and the Grizzlies, right? If they don't, if they don't take care of that. So I'm going to go big deal. And that right there is another addition. A big deal or not a big deal. Yes! Excellent job by everybody involved in the show today. Another successful week of Zaslow Show 2.0. None of this is possible without our title sponsor. We're presented everything Zaslow Show 2.0 by Anna Jarn and Levine Accident Attorneys. 800-747-FREE. That's 800-747-3733. If you're dealing with a personal injury, any kind of accident, motorcycle, car, boat, slip and fall, Anna Jarn and Levine Accident Attorneys is going to get you the money that you deserve. You focus on your health. If you got into an accident, you call 911 first, and then you call 800-747-3733. I wouldn't send you to Anna John and Levine Accident Attorneys if I didn't know that they were going to take care of you. Nobody's doing it better than those guys. And all of this right here on Zaslow Show 2.0 is possible because of my friends there at Anna John and Levine Accident Attorneys. 800-747-FREE. Excellent job by everybody. Make sure you like, you rate, you comment. Make sure you listen tomorrow. It's still real to me. Zaslow Show 2.0 Wrestling Podcast. Myself, my pal Joey Levin. It's still real to me tomorrow where we will recap another huge week in the world of pro wrestling. Again, make sure you like, you rate, you comment, you do all that good stuff. Appreciate everyone's hard work on the show today. We'll talk to you on Monday on Zaslow Show 2.0. You know what that means.